My mother is my superhero. She's one of the people I admire and look up to the most. And she often finds herself in very unusual circumstances when she tries to use a new piece of technology because she picks it up and immediately she thinks, this will work just fine for me. Not quite understanding that most technology is not designed with her in mind. And so my mom loves myself and my brother with all of her heart, but she loves her grandson way, 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 way more. So it was an absolute amazing day. It was a holiday for her when she was able to be in the hospital the day that her grandson was born. And so I want you to imagine, there's my brother, there's his partner, just having given birth. Everybody's tired and gross and grimy and they just want to sleep and the baby is, you know, just being a baby and my mom is there. And there's that fluorescent lighting in hospitals that makes everybody look hideous, that everybody looks horrible. And my mom has the bright idea that she wants to take a family portrait And so she grabs the nurse and she says, can you please take my phone and take a picture of the whole family together? And of course, everybody is like, no, 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 we don't want that. And she she insists, no, this is an opportunity for me to commemorate this moment. And the nurse takes her iPhone and just quickly snaps a picture. And it was one of the most beautiful pictures you could ever imagine. It was her family, her heart. The meaning she has in life was captured in that picture. And the only thing she wanted to do at that point was to print that picture and put it in a frame and put that frame next to her bed so that when she could go to sleep at night, she would see that picture and she would find peace. She would find happiness. And so she decides she wants to go to the store and buy a printer. Now... I don't know if you've ever used a printer before. They're not the most inclusively designed pieces of technology. And so she goes to the store and it's in America. So there is an aisle like two kilometers long with 20,000 different printers. And each of the printers is in a box and there's some beautiful, beautiful model with a spreadsheet printed out just so proudly standing there in front of the in front of the printer. And uh, my mom's trying to pick out a printer. She's trying to figure out what does what. She finally lands on which printer she wants. And I want you to imagine in your mind that there's not a printer inside that box. Inside that box is a little monster who's about to ruin my mother's day. And that monster just sits in there and growls. Ho, 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 ho. So my mom grabs the printer. She takes it up to the to the cashier. The cashier beep scans the printer, pushes it down, puts it in a bag, and she's paying. And there's the printer. Ho 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 ho! She grabs the printer, takes it to her car, opens the the trunk of the car, puts it in, gets behind the wheel, steps on that gas. She drives very fast. I don't like it, but she drives very fast. And racing home. And there's the printer in the trunk. Ho, 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 ho. She gets home. She takes the box of the printer. She brings it into her office. She opens it up. And you know that smell of plastic that hits your face whenever you open a piece of technology? That smell immediately hits her face. And she pulls it out, and the the styrofoam is squeaky, and it flecks a little bit, and it gets all over her carpet. And now she has to vacuum. And she takes the printer. She plugs it in. And immediately on the screen in front of her, windows just start popping up. Boom, boom, boom. You need to download 5,000 templates to make your printer work. You need to update your driver, otherwise your printer won't work. Do you have your antivirus updated? You might have a virus right now. And she's immediately overwhelmed. And so she's clicking, 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 trying to find the install window, the window that says, you know, go to next, proceed that window. And she finds it, and it's the language selector. And of course, my mom's American, so she wants it in American English. 
So when it said British English, this was not acceptable to her. So she clicks on the button and she scrolls down and she accidentally selects Spanish. Now my mom's a lovely person, but she does not know Spanish at all. So when the window changed into Spanish immediately and started going forward, she panicked. And what does most parents do in this situation? They ring up tech support, which for my mom is my brother. My brother is the person that calmly, quietly tells her it's gonna be okay. We're gonna get this fixed together. Is it plugged in? Yes. Is it turned on? Yes. Have you tried turning it on and off again? No. And she's slowly trying to walk her through. And even on the phone, even my brother who knows everything about technology, he's one of those geniuses that just intuitively, he can just be in the chair and the computer fixes itself. Doesn't even need to touch anything. Just sits down, boom, it starts working. That's my brother. And even he cannot get this printer to work. So now he's frustrated, he's angry. My mom is practically in tears. Her hand is like a claw on the mouse, just click, 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 trying to get this printer installed because the only thing she wants to do is to print out this picture of her family so she can look at it when she goes to bed that night. Now, my mother comes from the southern part of the United States, and I don't know if you know a lot about the culture there, but people there are, tend to be very polite, respectful. They say please and thank you and you're welcome. And my mom is very much of that character, and she stands about this tall. She's a very petite woman. So it was shocking to me when I learned that she grew so angry that she picked up the printer and she slammed it against the wall. Boom, and it plastic just crumbles down as she drops it. But she wasn't done. This printer was keeping her from doing the one thing she wanted to do most that day. She wanted revenge. So she grabs the cables of the printer and she drags it out into her backyard where she has a pit where she does fires in the evening to keep warm and she throws it in the fire pit. She goes back inside and she grabs a can of gasoline with about two liters worth of gas and she goes back outside and she opens up that can and she dumps out every drop of gasoline and without a care in the world, without a second thought, match. She lit up that gasoline and that printer turned black and melted and smoldered. And she was not satisfied, not happy. She felt insecure about her ability to use technology. She felt afraid that there was something wrong with her and what she was doing. And so the lesson I learned from hearing this story from my mother is that we have to think critically about how we design technology. We have to be able to design it in a way that's usable and accessible for everyone. And it's easy for us to look at the printer and say, well, it's the printer's fault. It was just poorly designed or it was the designer's fault. The designer just didn't do a good job, but it's more than that. It's not just the printer, it's not just the designer, it's the whole company. It's the business model of the company that allows these technologies to go to market and to be sold. And so what this experience taught me is that I need to think critically about my innovations. I need to think about how I'm creating the things that I create because I don't want to create something that my mom is gonna throw out into the backyard and burn. I want to create something that will work for her. And you know what? If it works better for her, it'll work better for me. It'll work better for a lot of you. It'll work better for everyone. So this goes back to the necessary for some, awesome for everyone. If we can design our initiatives, if we can design our innovations that will work for people like my mom, that will work for someone with a disability, then it'll work better for everyone.
for me and you and everyone.